Hello there and welcome to this little, well, game of mine. It will be an achievement series where I'll be doing some of the uh, achievements for EU4 among them. Uh, this time I will be f aiming at doing, uh, most likely forming Germany, and then uh, dismantling the Holy Roman uh, Empire from within. And there are some countries we can choose to do this. Uh, Saxony is an interesting one since they actually have a union with uh, Thuringia here. Brandenburg is also uh, pretty damn uh, interesting because uh, the requirements are to basically take a lot of provinces in this area and Brandenburg basically has easy access to uh, to if not all of them most of them and also they have a core no mark but other countries that can form that are interesting choices are probably uh, Bavaria I'm not completely sure if Bohemia can actually form uh, Germany or not if they can it'd probably be a, a good choice but uh, I'm going to go the same route as I did in EU3 and use uh, Brandenburg simply because it makes uh, it's a little bit interesting, it makes for a challenge, and when I come to the challenge of taking on uh, uh, taking on uh, Nide, but uh, among other things, it would be more fun to uh, to go up against uh, to go up against well, not more fun. What am I talking about? Uh, it would basically be good to have the experience. That's what I'm hitting at here. Uh, the experience would probably uh, help out quite a lot. If I can also ally uh, these two, I will have two powerful allies in very close vicinity that can help me. Uh, of this, I'll go for that one. And with it, with that, there aren't really that much to say. We will be forging uh, armies, we will be waging wars, most likely on uh, one province minus here. If we take a quick look on, uh, on the screen in terms of uh, what we have, let's see, our air sucks. So we'll go ahead and make him into general. Tree shark, not too bad. You'll be in charge of the army. But what I really want to show you was uh, form the germination thing. So as you can see, Mecklenburg is right to the north. Altmark, Lüneburg, Anhalt, these three here, along with uh, Brunswick, that is to west of them again. You can see it here, and uh, Saxony, Leipzig, Thuringia, and Nuremberg. So uh, basically, the first south we have to go is here. Uh, Saxony, Thuringia, so uh, Leipzig. So basically, we have close vicinity to all we need. We have Bohemia and Poland as uh, good allies. Poland has Lithuania, so uh, having them against the Teutons would be uh, an immense help. So I'm pretty sure that this will uh, this will turn out pretty damn well. We have now alliances with both Bohemia and Poland, and we'll go ahead and go for uh, royal marriages as uh, as well. I think uh, once we can, and then we'll. Uh, then we'll be starting forging claims, mostly on the one province miners that we want. We'll also want to get access to the sea, so uh, I believe Mecklenburg was uh, one of the uh, requirements. So uh, let's take a quick look here on, uh, again, I believe Mecklenburg, yeah. So we go from Mecklenburg, Lüneburg, basically the north first, and then uh, slowly but surely start, uh, start moving south. So we'll be fabricating claim up in Mecklenburg and in Lüneburg. Uh, considering how things are going, we'll have those claims be fabricated first, then we'll declare war on, uh, on the Teutons. I should probably just have done that straight away when I think about it, so we'll go ahead council and actually declare war straight away. That's there's two reasons why I want to do, uh, do that, and that is simply because of the fact that I'll have my allies with me, and, uh, and secondly because of the fact that the allies will drag me into some sort of mad war, sooner rather than later really, so... Uh, Taking them down a notch right now would be uh, the most beneficial way. And since I'm taking a core, I will not suffer anything. I will get the full gains. It seems that Lithuania is free. I thought we were in a union. Well, doesn't matter. We'll uh, we'll make it somehow, or my other guys will do it for me. I uh, I don't really know. They do have more manpower than them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's about equal, but still, I think we should be able to uh, to win this. To Pretty damn easily. I'm a little bit surprised though that they didn't actually help each other. So uh, it'll be interesting how this turns out. I'll probably have to send some units of uh, on my own to help here. But uh, Lithuania joining in is really a, a, stri a blow against me here. There we go. We got Brandenburg. We can now uh, push up army maintenance and start uh, start helping with the hunt, so to speak. We'll be hunting down their units. Well, basically, we'll be just. Uh, just standing in uh, in uh, in support. We'll be playing a support role, I think, trying to uh, help our allies hunt down the smaller units and so forth. 
So, yeah, we'll be moving up to try and help here. Won that battle, good. They are moving north to Danzig. And we'll probably destroy it, yeah. So, as I said, we'll be trying to play a supportive role. But uh, I'm a little bit unsure how this actually will uh, will work out in the end. But uh, we'll be fabricating claims on, as I said, the one province miners. Try to take them uh, down quickly in order to, uh, to gain some benefits from that. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to, uh, to do so without too much fuss. The only real issue here is uh, war exhaustion and this huge uh, Lithuanian Livonian uh, army. Other than that, there aren't really that much to worry about. Uh, Lithuania is starting to get some war exhaustion, which will... It'll hurt them way more than it will hurt any of us, simply because of the fact that uh, Danzig on 6th... I don't get why that guy is leaving. We'll try to support here and we'll probably win this battle as well. Yeah, we won that one, although it did hurt uh, quite a lot. They're running to Vilna. Really that's far north, but still. Once one of these guys are done, we will um, try to make peace for uh, Altmark. Then we'll go after uh, uh, Mecklenburg, I think. And uh, then we'll simply try to continue our quest to form, uh, to form Germany. I'm a little bit concerned in terms of... Uh, Qualization was against me because I will be doing some uh, pretty heavy hitting, pretty heavy. Uh, well, madness. I'll be taking at everything and everyone, and also uh, that will slowly but surely lead to uh, to wars. Qualization was could, uh, as I said, very well become a major issue pretty damn fast. So uh, we'll have to be a little bit careful, but uh, I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to to pull through. Guy in Lunenburg has spotted, lost 15%. So, uh, that's it, I think he'll be done first. This is a little bit bad. Mecklenburg is currently at war with uh, Pomerania. So, potentially, I could, of course, take their war on Pomerania, but I believe I still will have the claim. So, uh, it doesn't matter. We'll take Mecklenburg, and if we can, we'll vassalize uh, the remainder simply to get a, a. Well, I don't know how to put it, a power. Grounds for power, I guess you could say. To have a better backbone. They will not accept this simply because of what? Uh, Lithuania will lose the length of wall, Lithuania military strength. Canada negotiate peace with peace with the Teutons since they are war goal. But uh, I think we'll simply have to wait a little bit and then uh, we can get the terms that we want. Invest a bigger, raise taxes even higher. I don't really need that much manpower. What I need is uh, is money, simply to be able to uh, to uh, get things going. I reclaim their mark as planned. Nymark has been liberated from clutch of the Teutonic Order and restored to the Holy Roman Empire. Our service to the Empire has been recognized. Grants a claim. I have a core. I don't need a claim on it. Austria likes me though. Can I ally with them? That would make me very, very powerful. I can actually ally with Austria as well. So. I basically have uh, complete control now over most of uh, most of the eastern map here. So we will be fighting these guys pretty damn soon. But for now we'll be going up against uh, Roman marriage offer from Austria. We'll have to accept. New mission conquer Silesia. Not interested. Improve relations with Alma. We need to recover from the wars. Could potentially take that one. And we'll simply reduce it like, uh, like that. So let's see. Do we get any interest in new mission conquer Silesia? Max Saxony vote for us. Uh, what we could of course do is simply take this one and then kill off Anhalt pretty damn soon. We probably will. So it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really bother me that much. Declare war, take Limburg, who will uh, join in. Austria like they're joining, yes. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure pretty easily we will take these guys on on my own to take the corner. Sorry, the Teutons can't actually join in, so it will simply be Anhalt. And Magdeburg, so uh, it will be what? 6,000 men total. In order to combat that, we'll hire 3,000 uh, mercs. And once we have hired them and prepared for war, we'll simply uh, we'll simply march on Altmark or this one. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely want to take uh, Lunenburg first, and then we'll simply kill off the troops as we as we see fit. But um, it shouldn't really be an issue, and with that, we'll be uh, we'll have started improving relations with all the on halt failed thanks to uh, 
thanks to the attack. But all that remains now is simply to kill off their troops and uh, siege the few provinces that they actually have. So it's not really a conquest against Pomerania, a dishonorable scum against Pomerania. That's a quite the interesting uh, castle spell eye there. So we'll probably use that to our advantage. Let's see here. There we go. And once we have actually set up the sieges, I'm pretty sure that I can just uh, lower military maintenance and then things will work out. Unfortunately, we lost this honorable scum uh, pretty much as fast as we got it. Repair relations with Pomerania? No. Uh, we'll fail all of these, so uh, we can potentially go for make Saxony vote for us and then uh, we'll fail it once we actually get into a war with them. So uh, it, it doesn't really matter. Thuringia, fabric claim on Wittenberg. Uh, no, we'll wait until we actually have. I should potentially have taken Arnold first here, simply to be able to forge claims on Brunswick itself. But I probably wouldn't be able to, so we'll ha most likely have to next them. But still, we uh, we are in a good position here. We are growing uh, slowly but surely. We'll be going north against uh, against these guys probably next. Take uh, take them down. Cut them down to size. Fabricate a claim. No, I simply need Mecklenburg, so it's no good reason for me to take anything more. I could have called Vassalized them. That would uh, that would help me out uh, immensely. But uh, still, that's not really what I want to do here. I'll be sitting by, sieging, uh, taking Germany. But I don't care if I get a colonization against me. And that, that is probably the most important part of this. I don't care if the colonization ends up uh, forming against me. I'll have to be careful. I have to wait for level 10. Uh, level 10 admin tech, so... Uh, Going slow, going calmly doesn't really make a difference to me because, uh, as I said, we can simply uh, we will be going a little bit 30. That's a little bit overkill, but still. Uh, what I can do here, once I want to take in Lunenburg, if uh, if they have the no, they can't actually. Uh, so I simply take Lunenburg this time. I'll be uh, saving the CBs, trying to get as little as possible, but I will be doing something that will get me a a big problem in the end because when it comes to dismantling the whole, whole Roman Empire. Uh, doing it one state at a time will be uh, tiresome, so basically I'll have to uh, get the entirety of uh, the Empire against me and then uh, and then more or less use that as uh, the grounds for the grounds for war. But uh, with this I now have Altmark. I can uh, most likely take a on them pretty damn fast. And I can also start fabricating on uh, Anhalt. So if I time my Cassus Bellis right here uh, with uh, the time the peace deals run out, potentially I will have uh, or will be in a pretty damn strong position. So uh, it's at least good that I can steal some cash from them. And we'll go ahead and siege uh, Lunenburg, uh, annex them, and then we will, as you know, go. Unit is in exile. What the hell? Uh, I really don't understand how that works, but still. We'll go ahead, full annexation. Uh, one province minus are really. Well, they cost a lot to annex, so we have to be we have to be careful, be patient. Hopefully, one of these guys will end up in trouble with <laughs> with each other, and thus we can uh, get some gains that way. What we will, however, do now is uh, start fabricating claims on Hanover and Brunswick, annex them as well, and once they have, or once we have taken them, Annalt entered, so colonization is already uh, growing. Pomerania entered into military colonization. Well, that's kind of good because that means I can attack them. So uh, this is basically how the beginning went. We took no mark. We uh, took back uh, Hanover and Brunswick, and all in all, we did well. But let's see here. Nation problem against Crimea. We can of course join in, but I will not be uh, be helping very much. I want them as an ally. That's for sure. But. Uh, I will not be fighting on the front lines. That I can, uh, that I can tell you straight away. So conquest against Anhalt, and um, how would you, Scotland, Magdeburg, Anhalt won't join in. So placing my troops uh, now next to uh, next to theirs, and simply making two more to be sure that we have enough siege uh, siege units. I'm a little bit unsure if Scotland will actually show up at all, but uh, taking Magdeburg is probably our best course of action right now, even though we are. Uh, since we are at war with uh, with the Ottomans, I won't be losing any more exhaustion that way. So uh, going after uh, these guys is, as I said, probably my best course of action. So uh, we'll go ahead, detach a siege there, simply to 
well, doesn't really uh, doesn't really hurt. So uh, we'll go ahead and detach sieges all across the lines. The only real issue, as I said, if it's Scotland shows up at all, but I don't think they will. So uh, we're probably safe. I'll have to hunt down. Why are the Austrian units in my lands? What have I done? Conquest against Brunswick. Dishonorable scum against Brunswick. This is actually quite good. It took Altmar for us. So, uh, do I have a claim to... No, I, I'm freaking to fabricate and claim on Hanover. So, I will probably go ahead and annex... Uh, annex Brunswick. Uh, pretty damn soon in the next war, I guess. But, uh, let's see how this turns out. We'll be doing some sieges. And once we have, we will... Uh, we're done. So basically what I'll be doing while the siege is going on is still a little bit of tactics talks. Thanks to uh, Brunswick now annexing Hanover or Altmark. Uh, we are in a pretty damn good position. The only real issue now is the Hansa. They have a lot of men. So they could potentially screw us over pretty damn bad. Also when we get a border with them they will not be happy. But going after Brunswick now with uh, them having Altmark and Hanover. Altmark was part of... Uh, part of... Uh, a Magdeburg, if I'm not mistaken, we'll be in a much better position because if we take Altmark and Brunswick in one war, we will probably not suffer that much uh, aggressive expansion penalty. The only real issue is if I can fabricate a claim on uh, on Brunswick itself, or if I will have to uh, have to sit by peacefully and and simply watch. We got a cheap uh, extra stability there point, which is uh, quite good. Lindenburg has become a core. Good. I don't think it got the uh, the aggressive modifier for being of uh, for being not being my core, the negative modifier that you can get from Holy Roman Emperor since I'm an ally with him. I'm pretty sure that he won't uh, be requesting my lands, but I need to be uh, very careful. Watch out for uh, for uh, how these guys actually feel about me, because uh, I has no possible province. Um, so I actually have a claim to Anhalt. Yeah, I actually do. Uh, We'll probably want to fabricate a claim on Wittenberg though, or no, we'll be uh, aiming to improve relations with uh, with Bohemia, simply because they are closest, they are the ones that are going to take the most heavy hits when we uh, conquer lands. So uh, we need to be uh, we need to be uh, a little bit nice here, try to uh, try to make things work. Should probably also to go to do the same thing with uh, with Poland here, or perhaps in Austria, because Austria will be the most important ally in uh, in the wars to come. So without any further ado, I'll put it on pause for uh, well the first time until the sieges are done. Since there aren't really that much I uh, I can talk about otherwise. The only real issue here is the one we need to get down to Nuremberg. Uh, that could potentially end up in uh, in uh, all our warfare. And also, if I end up vassalizing these guys, they will. Uh, I think the countries around won't really uh, like it that much. Let's hear an aggressive expansion modifier. I don't have anyone with them. Bohemia. I have. Uh, 13, 37 a year, so if I have to be quiet for a decade, uh, that will simply be how things uh, would have to go. Unfortunately, I had uh, a little bit of a bad event there, but uh, uh, 1 prestige and minus 10 tax in the province is, uh, isn't really that much. In, it would be worse to have the rebels. Apparently, the worst province to siege is uh, Mecklenburg, so that's a little bit bad. Crimea, this guy's still alive, that's also bad. So uh, yeah, I should probably hire someone to uh, to boost my point uh, generation, but uh, I'll do that later. Right now, what's most important is that I simply have the money for armies in uh, in the case of a coalition going up against me. So uh, that's basically my thinking behind this, and we'll have to wait for... Yeah, you can stop now and come home. Uh, I like to rival. Uh, probably Austria. So as I said once again, it will be uh, Bohemia will be the toughest ally to keep in uh, keep here. Let's see if I do this, and then yeah, they have <laughs> they actually have a little bit too many lands to uh, to be able to force them to uh, become my vassal. But still, we'll simply take Mecklenburg. I believe Bohemia. Yeah, Bohemia will get a minus ten. Austria will actually get a minus nine, and Poland a minus seven. So, yeah, not too good. I believe the modifiers actually go up too. Uh, the more you try to... Uh, the, more you tr the more you take, basically, but still. Mecklenburg is more than enough. It's one of the you know, provinces I need, so we'll simply core it and... Uh, and sit by uh, quietly and wait. There aren't really that much else we can do. Bohemia still... Uh, we still have pretty good relations with them. So, uh, 
will be sitting by and relaxing. Did I forget to a call to arms now with Austria? No, it's probably just a demand uh, from then. But we've done pretty well. Brandenburg actually showing up on the map, probably about the size of Bavaria or something. Once we've taken Brunswick, we'll uh, of course show up much more. It seems that they're currently at war to booth with the uh, first freaking conquest of Castle. So potentially I'm tempted to now go to war against them, but taking all of their provinces will will hurt pretty damn bad. But still, they're in a position where I can attack them, and that's basically what we'll have to be waiting for. Uh, approval relations in Vienna. I think I will be able to survive the relations hit, but then I'll have to be really, really quiet for uh, some time, but uh, uh, ignore them. East Frisia, Trier, Anal, Pomerania, Hansa. So basically, that's, it's the Hansa that will be the, uh, the base issue here if I do this. East Frisia, Trier, uh, not really that much of. They're not really heavy hitters. They're not the first thing that comes to mind when you think about a uh, a heavy hitter, so to speak. So we'll go ahead. We'll hire a lot of mercs. Put our army maintenance almost down to zero. Or we'll actually just go ahead and uh, and start now with uh, army maintenance. Uh, what's the real issue here is that we need to kick the Hansas uh, pretty damn hard. Uh, it doesn't. It isn't really an issue as long as these guys are well with uh, with Brunswick. And I'm also a little bit concerned if uh, people will be joining into my war. Bohemia would actually like to join, but no one else. So if I can call Bohemia in it, it would be uh, it would be good. But it's not necessarily something that uh, that will be a well deciding factor of the war. It could potentially be, but I don't think so. So uh, we'll wait till that last unit has been uh, has been done. And there's just one thing I'm wondering about if. Uh, when I call allies, if I will call all willing allies, that's the little issue here. I haven't really figured that out yet because I usually don't rely on allies. So uh, we'll probably figure that out right now. Take Hanover, take Altmark. Altmark will be the goal here uh, in this war. And I believe it's uh, Hansa is free sentry here, so yeah. As soon as we've dealt with Hansa, we basically uh, basically home free in this war. They're, they're not that strong, they're not that powerful. Uh, the only thing they have plenty of is money, uh, and apparently that hurts quite. Money can hurt quite a lot, but I'm pretty sure that we will destroy their armies pretty soon. Uh, this is something I don't know how the bounce back mechanics actually work because sometimes you win a battle, but you still uh, still lose in some manner of speaking. But uh, right now I think we are more or less uh, home free again. We'll go ahead. Hire two mercs to siege Bremen, and we'll probably take up a couple of loans too, uh, just for uh, just for good measure. But I'm a little bit concerned if these guys will actually take. Yeah, if they take Hanover, I'd love them uh, very much for it. But still, uh, it would be a good move for me that if they actually took Hanover, that would uh, that would help my cause, because then I won't have to uh, suffer the uh, the annexation costs of of that of said province, and thus I can more easily. Uh, start focusing on other things uh, but for now we'll go ahead and move against yeah all that really needed here is to uh, they actually have 5,000 men Brunswick here standing in uh, standing in enemy territory so we should potentially just start focusing on sieges and I actually ended up in a war that I, uh, this is bad um, screw it we'll, we'll abandon Hansa uh, the Hansa conquest I think let's see here we need to up our we can't have our maintenance anymore. Take 20 loan. I will not, not keep it floating for long. You guys, retreat to... Yeah. Uh, this is kind of a pickle here. Brunswick has, along with East Frisia, a lot of men. So, uh, I'm a little bit in trouble here, Frederick. When did my heir die? No, he's, he's in charge of that army. Oh, I get it. Well, that's too bad. I made a... Well, we should be able to destroy, yeah, destroy that army, and that should bring us to to a level where we can actually now. The important part now will be to hunting down the other armies here. Uh, most likely, the biggest ones uh, will be important. Three uh, will be a little bit of an annoyance, but still nothing, not something that we can't protect against. I guess I should say. But still, the fact that they have more money than me is the most unsettling part about this because. Uh, that simply means that I can't actually uh, actually uh, hire that many mercs. 
uh, it would simply end up in trouble. And also, these fights will be fought pretty damn hard. Can I? There is the call to arms, yeah. War started more than 60 days ago. To battle, I forgot. I simply thought I would be able to to handle this on my own. But apparently, it seems that I made a very bad. Uh, I had very bad judge <laughs> judgment here. And I'm most likely just ending up screwing myself over here time and time again. Albrecht Achilles tragically died. Uh, I don't know if it's that much of a tragedy, really. But if we can just snatch one or two provinces from uh, from these guys, I would be more than happy to uh, to say that this war would have been a success. But uh, it's too bad that I can't actually get uh, members of the colonization to simply leave uh, the war. They don't necessarily need, need to leave the colonization. I simply need them to get uh, I simply need to get them out of the war. That's basically it. We'll keep this army here. We'll try to siege. We'll uh, attack anyone who actually uh, gets into trouble with us. As you know, I believe I've taken three or four loans now. Uh, we'll have a quick check. Two loans. So uh, uh, it's it's starting to get damn expensive this war. Uh, we'll have to see how this actually in the end turns out. Because if we take these three, I will be quiet simply because I I don't have the money to do anything else than to stay quiet and allow uh, allow time to pass. But once we actually uh, siege all of their provinces, I don't really see an issue here. All that remains now is basically sieging. We came through, although it did look bad there for a moment. We uh, we made we made some gains, and thus we are now in the driver's seat, more or less. And thanks to Cologne there, we got rid of a three-year army that could potentially have uh, caused us some uh, trouble. Third loan there at, at 20 ducats, but uh, as you know, we should be able to uh, to repay that as soon as the war is uh, as soon as the war is done. Since these guys seem to be the ones that are more or less uh, ready to attack us any time. We'll also go ahead and reduce. I don't, I don't really want... Uh, that's probably just uh, bad spending of the points, but still. Uh, rebel units in my lands now could potentially s steal the province. Seriously, that's, uh, that's how bad things look. We are running a big deficit. We are not doing that well in, uh, in many aspects. And thanks to that, we'll have to, uh, have to be a little bit careful. But if we get these three counties, we can at least be uh, be happy with some things. Poland, I think I forgot to... Uh, yeah, I p probably forgot to take uh, call to arms or something, but uh, uh, they're not really that important now. Uh, they would be nice to have them to secure my eastern border, but uh, as long as I can keep Bohemia and Austria happy, I will be uh, I will be set to, uh, to have things go all the way I want. Also, if we take these three now, we... We'll also be in a much better spot, but uh, the only thing that's really uh, the hindering factor, so to speak, is uh, is Austria and Bohemia's uh, feelings towards me. And as you can see, we got a pretty damn good air, 642. If we had 624, I would be much happier, because uh, administrative points is what we'll be needing, simply to uh, full annexation. 37, Bohemia, where are they? 51, Austria 48. Uh, they still will be kind of friendly. But this is a pretty big gamble. I need to uh, I need to friendly up with uh, both of them. Uh, they're still friendly towards me though, so uh, I'll have to uh, I'll have to be uh, improve relations with them for a while, and we'll also be fabricating claim fabricating claims, coring both of these as uh, fast as we can. Uh, we'll probably take a diplomacy uh, diplomacy uh, idea to try and help out with uh, with. Uh, let's see a split. I'll have to split that one again and destroy at least 4,000 units. We'll have an 8,000 men standing army and uh, we'll have to pay down. Dishonorable scum against the Hansa. Or did they gain it against us? Doesn't really matter. Brandenburg is big, Brandenburg is weak at this stage, but uh, we'll uh, aim at growing, we'll aim at getting stronger. With Brunswick and uh, Altmark, we are that much closer to uh, forming Germany. As you can see here from uh, this one, we need. Uh, Five more provinces: Anhalt, Saxony, uh, Leipzig, Thuringen, and Nuremberg. Four of them here, and Nuremberg down there. So uh, it's not that far. We uh, are close. We aren't. Uh, we still have allies with uh, Bohemia and Austria, and I think that's basically what's keeping the coalition away from uh, declaring war on me right now. So uh, we will be sitting by peacefully for the next decade or so, I think, to uh, call these lands, fabricate claims and everything else we want here. Thuringen and Leipzig, uh, mostly. 
and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, someone consolidate here. If uh, Saxony consolidates and takes everything here, we can get these uh, provinces for for pretty damn cheap. So it would be beneficial to me, but uh, it's not something that I'm counting on. So uh, we'll have to see how this turns out. We have so had a good start, as I said. So uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise criticism. Tell me how you feel about my uh, achievement project, so to speak, where uh, we'll be aiming to... Uh, well, do all the achievements in EU4. I'll be doing the harder ones, uh, mostly county, country formations, uh, Germany, uh, perhaps the Swedish one, uh, the Baltic coastline, and sooner or later we'll end up with uh, doing the night, uh, three mountains, uh, uh, Trail of Tears. All of them are pretty damn difficult. Uh, Trail of Tears ain't really that much, it's simply cola. Uh, it's simply um, to get have the 13 colonies and make sure that you are westernized. So, it's not really that difficult if you're lucky with uh, whom you meet, but if you're unlucky and they want to uh, annex yours, then you uh, are in a pretty tough spot. But, uh, the Naid one, uh, converting all of Asia, Africa and Europe to Sunni, will probably be an interesting one, it will be an aggressive one, we'll be attacking in all directions. But the Three Mountains is the one I'm really looking forward to, and I'll probably say that one for uh, one of the third, three last ones. So, uh, until then, We'll, uh, we'll keep by and uh, see how things go. So uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like. And hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.